When explosions are happening, when children are dying and women are burning, what would you do? I'm Sumi J, and I'm at Carleton University in the nation's capital, and I'm going to be interviewing some students with my good friend Amanda to raise awareness about the crisis in Afghanistan. Let's see what Canadians have to say. All right, so what do you think of Canada's free healthcare system? Oh, I love it. Like, I look at it compared to other countries, and it's just great. It's, it's good. I mean, I was talking to some people online the other day, and they were asking, they lived in America, and they were asking about it, and they, were, like, they actually wanted to move to Canada just because of that. It's a good opportunity for people who like can't pay for it fully. My opinion, I think that it's great that we'll, like you know Canada is giving us the opportunity to have access to free healthcare. Although I do think that you know the healthcare system does need to be improved. For me personally, especially the aspect of mental health. The fact that people can get hospital and medical care regardless of how much money they have or whether they're working or not working, I think is is an absolutely essential component. If you were injured here, what would you do? What would be the very first thing that you would do? Um, probably call 911. I could call an ambulance. Um, I would definitely automatically call 911 and get an ambulance to come and support them. I'd probably call 911. So it's wonderful that we have access to something like that because in Afghanistan they don't actually have access to emergency services such as ambulances to bring them to hospitals and doctors and stuff like that. How does that make you feel? I knowing think, that. I think that's really like heartbreaking obviously you know because someone living here like we automatically in being in a situation like that we don't have to panic we don't have to worry. So uh, Doctors Without Borders made a report last year stating that people who are trying to get access to a medical center often face deadly um, attacks, explosions and even harassment. As well the UN made a report stating that up to 10 individuals are killed every day and up to 18 are injured. This is horrible and um, knowing that we uh, um, or have free health care here in Canada, how does it make you feel knowing that this is the reality of people in Afghanistan? Kind of horrible because I mean they kind of deserve, we have so much, Why, like they kind of deserve just at least a little bit if not everything. They go through so much struggles. I just think it's a huge human rights issue to be honest, like everybody is entitled to health care especially in this day and age with the increase in technology and modern like just, it's just ridiculous. Um. You know, it's pretty crazy. I think I've already kind of come to that realization that a lot of countries don't have a healthcare system like us, but like to that extent, no ambulances, like I didn't know that. That's pretty crazy. It's just, it's, it really pains to see things like that to happen because nobody deserves to be badly injured like that. Canadian citizens, on an individual level, what do you think we can do to help these people? Um, I'm not quite versed in that, so I don't want to make a huge opinion about it, but I'm sure if there was like a huge organization that I could like donate to or that I could help with, I would definitely do that. Um, I would say what you're doing, raising awareness, you know, going around. I would never have known stuff like that if people like you didn't raise awareness. Well, I think there's a lot of opportunities. I mean, we're lucky that we live in a society where we have the freedom to do um, and say a lot, so whether it's through political activity, you know, giving voice to the kinds of issues that matter to us, um, donating money, um, giving our time, whether it's through volunteering or speaking up. Um, I think that there's a lot we can do. It may not be enough, um, but, you know, supporting our government to, and, and pushing our government to do the kinds of things that we as individuals can't do. Um, well, it makes me feel like we should be doing a lot more for these people. I mean, we live in, like, a developed country where we actually have access to things that I, I didn't even realize people people in Afghanistan for instance had no access to at all. So I feel like Western countries especially and any countries that can afford it really need to help out countries like Afghanistan that don't have these things at all. I mean set up charity organizations, make sure we try to help not just people in Afghanistan because there's stuff like this going on everywhere in the world. So I mean we should try as much as possible to give extra hands, a few cents a month and, you know, little, little drops of water fill up a mighty ocean, so. Afghanistan is a country which has seen destruction upon destruction in the last 30 years. It has been rocked by bombs and explosions. Men, women and children have perished. What makes this conflict in Afghanistan very complex is the fact that not only are civilians caught in the crossfire between pro and anti-government conflict and being killed, but there's no air ambulance or effective ground ambulance service for the civilians within Kabul, which is the capital of Afghanistan. Human Relief Mission is working tirelessly to provide Afghanistan with fast and effective ambulance services and is actually the first of its kind in the history of Afghanistan. Often people say there is nothing that can be done, but I chose to be a woman who will not just stand by and watch people die.
The projects that I will be fundraising for alongside Human Relief Mission will include food distribution, free ambulance service, higher education sponsorship, as well as blood donation program. As well, I will be speaking at King's College London in the UK on the 4th of February. I will put all the details for the event in the description box below. Please make an effort to come out. We may not be able to stop the raining of bullets, but we can help provide these innocent people with an education, a chance, and safety. I am fundraising for the people of Afghanistan to give them a chance and help save lives. Help me to make that difference.